guys. Happy Saturday. I am exhausted. I I have been working since I got out of bed this morning all by myself. My mom has been gone all day. My husband had to work today. So I have basically had to do everything for this birthday party by myself, all alone, with two littles to keep entertained and out of trouble and trying not to completely destroy my house. So I'm finally sitting down. I, it's actually supper time, but because I've been staring at food all day, I have had food in the crock pot and I don't want to eat it, so I'm trying to just not think about it for a few minutes so I can eat dinner. I was tagged by Jesse from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy um, for the dinner tag, so I'm going to do that for you guys today. So I will link all the questions in the description box, and here we go. So I'm looking over here at the questions. The first question is your favorite crock pot meal. Probably the meal I have in there today. Now I am a huge fan of the Emily Bites buffalo chicken in the crock pot. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Anyways, I started making that shortly after I joined Weight Watchers. Since then I have done it a couple different ways and actually what I did today is my favorite. Um, I actually do it now with pork instead of chicken. I like to take a whole two-ish pound lean center cut pork tenderloin, put that in the crock pot. Sometimes I even do it frozen. Um, I know when I do chicken a lot of times I do it frozen because I never remember to take things out of the freezer. So I throw the pork tenderloin in the crock pot, um, one package of Hidden Valley Ranch dressing mix, just the dry powder, and I do a half a cup of the Sweet Baby Ray's uh, buffalo wing sauce. I do a half a cup at first and I let that cook and then after I shred up all the meat, I add another maybe quarter of a cup to the crock pot just to kind of thicken everything because it's got all the juices in it from the meat cooking all day. And I still love the chicken. However, I find that the chicken, if you don't catch it right at the right amount of time, the chicken can get really dry, whereas the pork tends to stay really stringy and moist, and that's what I like. So that's probably my favorite crock pot meal. Um, a close second is actually one I got from Pinterest, so I will save that for my favorite Pinterest meal. Number two, your favorite easy cleanup meal. I recently discovered a dish. Um, I think it's from thekitchen.com. And it is a chicken sausage and tomato gnocchi skillet. I buy the little teeny mini gnocchi, which I love. Um, boil them in a little bit of water so it's not a one pot dish but pretty darn close um, I actually just boil them in one pot take them out with a slotted spoon and throw them into the skillet where um, chicken sausage and tomatoes and most of the time I throw some uh, cut up mushrooms in there add the gnocchi cook it one basic pot other than your pot of boiling water um, one pot to clean up it's delicious and you literally get everything that you need in that one pot in that one skillet and I love to use my cast iron skillet everything gets really crunchy the edges of the gnocchi get all hard and crunchy and it's just it's delicious and it's one of my favorites and it's very quick last minute um, that's probably my favorite easy cleanup meal number three your favorite Pinterest meal um, I got an it's one I do in the crock pot and it's called I think if you look it up on Pinterest it's just called chicken with Rotel I don't actually use Rotel in mine because I feed my children however it is chicken I think there's a block of cream cheese I use 
It's like the only recipe I don't mind. Fat free cream cheese. It's got a can of corn, a can of beans, two cans of tomatoes, any kind you want. I use just the fire roasted diced tomatoes instead of the Rotel. Um, and then a taco seasoning. And I just let that cook all day. Um, and I shred it up and I eat it either on a salad, you could eat it on rice. We like to eat it in tortillas. Um, that's another one of our favorites and I actually make it quite a lot. Very simple, throw everything in, throw the lid on, even if your chicken is frozen, um, it'll cook, it'll take a little bit longer to cook, but I actually find that cooking meat that's frozen in the crock pot keeps everything more moist because it gets all the moisture from being frozen. So that's my favorite Pinterest meal. I'm not a huge Pinterest fan. I don't have time. I tend to get sucked into the rabbit holes and I could spend all day there and I don't have all day. So I tend to only look there when I absolutely need to. <laughs> Four. This one is a hard one for me. Your healthiest dinner dish. I really find that 97% of my meals are healthy. So I have a really hard time with that because the dishes that I've just told you are healthy. Um, I have a hard time picking one that is the healthiest. I don't really know. Um, I try to eat a lot of high protein, low fats, and tons and tons of fruits and vegetables. I eat tons of vegetables every day and just enough fruit, just enough to get me through. Um, so I would say any of my meals are the healthiest meals that I cook. Number five, favorite soup you make. I am not a huge soup fan. Um, I have to really be in the mood for a soup. Um, I probably have two that I make and I make them. One right now is the taco soup. I don't mind a good chili, so the taco soup is right up there. Um, it's been my favorite lately. I've made two batches in the last two weeks and basically have been eating it every day. Excuse me, and I love it. So, the second soup I make is probably the easiest thing you could ever cook in the whole world. Um, and it's very Weight Watcher friendly until you add the pasta. <laughs> it is basically a quart of vegetable stock. You could use chicken. You could even use beef if you want. Say hi. Silly yeah. pants. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. So it is four yeah. cups of stock of your choice. The recipe I think calls for vegetable, which I seem to like the most, but you could use mushroom stock, you could use your homemade stock, anything you want. It's got a bag of baby spinach, a block of cream cheese, and a can of diced tomatoes. And that's it. It is the simplest thing, and you just let it cook all day long, and then the recipe in itself calls for a bag of cheese tortellinis, which I have discovered if you just cook them separate in some boiling water, and then, no, and then add them to each bowl, you can eat the soup as leftovers, but if you put the noodles, like, frozen into the crock pot and let it cook all together, one sitting is enough because they blow up to about this big. So, I just cook them separate, that way I can only have, you know, one or two, and I'm good, and... So that's another soup that's really good, and it's so simple. Six, what is the most unique dish you make? I wouldn't say it's necessarily unique. Well, I guess it is because I never know where I'm going to start. But probably my stuffed peppers. I bet I make 10 to 15 different kinds of stuffed peppers. I have done everything from spinach and artichoke and chicken stuffed peppers I do the very traditional with the tomato sauce and the ground meat and the um, rice. I do one that has uh, quinoa and broccoli and then I use like a cream of broccoli soup and maybe some cut up chicken or maybe nothing. 
I do a Mexican one where I do black beans and rice and a seasoned taco meat. Um, I have done chicken broccoli alfredo, stuffed peppers. Um, I do all vegetarian ones like with cauliflower rice and just a ton of mixed vegetables. Um, they're highly requested in our house. My kids like them. My husband likes them. And we like them in just about any way you can think of. So, do you see the little girl in there? So, look at this. Woo! So, I would say that's probably my most and unique nice. because there's no so limit to what we will put four. in a stuffed pepper. Number and seven. One and one and Number seven says your favorite pasta dish. My favorite, all-time favorite pasta dish is probably my mother's homemade macaroni and cheese. I have not had any in a long time because it is as far from Weight Watchers friendly as possible. She makes it with fresh Vermont Cabot sharp cheddar cheese. She puts the whole butter and cracker crumb on the top and bakes it. It is amazing and I could gain 20 pounds just by looking at it. Um, so I haven't eaten it at least in a year, if not more. Um, it's delicious and now I want some. Number eight, your kid's favorite meal. Well, I have actually very, my kids are not picky at all. Um, this one really likes spaghetti and meatballs and um, her favorite food that she can eat hot or cold is just peas. She loves peas. My son loves broccoli. He will eat broccoli raw. He likes it cooked. He likes it, I don't know, any way you can get it, he likes broccoli. Um, he's not picky either. My kids are not picky. He loves shepherd's pie. That's probably one of his favorite. Um, we make ours with just hamburger and mashed potatoes and corn, um, and he seems to really like that one. Um, he loves macaroni and cheese. He likes, he loves the zucchini fries that I make. Um, so neither one of them are very fussy. Um, he's really into, if any of you follow me on social media or if you saw this video, Maybe I did one. I don't know. Uh, both my kids' birthdays was this past week. And what's always been special in our family is on your birthday, you get to pick what you want for dinner. Well, it's been the first year that my son has really been able to ask for what he wants. So he asked for macaroni and cheese, which I did not go to the trouble of making homemade because he likes the box stuff just as much. Um... And I wasn't going to go through it. I wouldn't have eaten it. So, I am. Um, he asked for macaroni and cheese. And he wanted hot dogs in a bun with mustard. Because that's how big kids eat hot dogs. He And green beans. He ate every last drop and seconds on his green beans. Her birthday, we made her spaghetti and peas and meatballs. And she ate four meatballs. The whole plate of spaghetti. Every last pea she had. So, my kids are really good eaters. They love fruits and vegetables. Um, so, I'm very lucky. And number nine. Dish you always bring to a party or a gathering. I am pretty known for my deviled eggs. And I'm very traditional. Don't do that. I'm very traditional. I like to cut the yolks out. There you go. I like to cut the yolks out, a little mayonnaise, a little mustard, garlic powder. That's it. But for some reason, nobody else in my family can get it together enough to make them. So I always bring a tray of deviled eggs, pretty much no matter what's going on. And since I've been on Weight Watchers, I try really hard to bring one zero or as close to it point dish as I can. A big green salad, um, a big fruit salad. Um, something that I can fill my plate with so that I can eat a little tiny bit of what everybody else brings and not feel guilty. Um, because you never know when you go somewhere what there is going to be for healthy options. So I try to always bring something that is as close to zero points as I can get. Just so that I know there will be something there that I can fill up on if I have to.
And then question number 10 says tag three friends. Yeah. So I am going to tag Amber yeah. from Amber's Weight Watcher Adventure. I am going to tag, I'm trying to think of people that Jess didn't tag. Um, I'm going to tag Mrs. Kirsten, uh, Miss K all the way, Kirsten. And I am going to tag M. Wilson from M. Wilson Fit Fan. So there's my three. Um, and anybody who was not tagged, um, Kirsten, um, from M's friend Kirsten, if you want to do it, I'm tagging you too. So I'll tag four. So anybody else who wants to do the tag, please feel free. Comment down below so I can go and watch yours. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll check you later. Have a good night.